In this tutorial, we're going to go over how to set up GitHub Copilot, an AI enabled tool for helping us program. If we go over to extensions, and in extensions, if we search for Copilot, we're going to look for the one that's the latest with the highest version number. Version 1.143.0 is the one that's current. You'll notice there's other ones, but you'll see they're older versions that are here in the marketplace. So just make sure you choose the latest one and click install. It will do the installing. Once the installation is complete, it's going to prompt you to sign in to GitHub Copilot. This will enable Visual Studio to work with GitHub and your GitHub account. Um, and your Copilot subscription. You'll get a free 30-day subscription, I believe, if you have not used it already. So here, if you have a GitHub account, you'll just sign in. If you did not yet, you'll want to create an account. But pretty simple, just sign in. And it's going to send me a confirmation code that I'll need really quick so I can complete my sign in. So one second, let me get that from my phone. Now it's going to want me to allow Visual Studio to open this link. And now I've linked my GitHub account to my VS code and I can start making use of Copilot. Now if you did not already subscribe when you do that here it's likely you're going to get prompted to go through um, the installation for Copilot or not the installation but the actual subscription um, and authorize and accept the subscription which like I said it'll be a trial period um, and then from there, you'll have the option to cancel that trial or to pay the fee for $10 a month. And on this page, I just pulled up real quick. You can see if you go to github.com features copilot slash plans, the individual account, $10 per month or $100 per user. Also free for verified students, teachers, and maintainers of popular open source projects. Uh, so that's uh, another cool feature that's available. If you scroll up um, from where I am, you'll see that there's pricing for business and enterprises as well, um, which the enterprise one is not available yet till February. So here you can go ahead and sign up if you're not signed up already. Um, but if you were signed up and you linked it properly, what you can do here to try it out, we can do a new file and let's just say um, index.html. And let's just pick a place to save it. I'll do a new folder. I'll call that copilot demo. And I'll create the file. And you'll see here. Control plus I to ask Copilot chat to do something. Start typing to dismiss. So if I hit Control plus I right now, I can ask Copilot to generate code. Create me a basic HTML5 web page with three columns and hit enter. And you'll see. Copilot will go ahead and generate some code that might be useful for, for, to you. The more specific you are in working with Copilot, the better the results are going to be. Of course, prompt engineering is a skill in and of itself. Stay tuned for more videos working with Copilot as well as getting used to working with prompt engineering. I hope you found this helpful. Please subscribe if you haven't already and please pass on and share it to others. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to put them in down below. Thanks, everybody.